Hello and welcome, Fender or Fend here if you wish, coming back with another episode of Sunless Sea. In this episode, we are taking on another Auroral Megalops, aka the Pony Eating Crabs. Truly, this is a blight upon humanity, a scourge upon the undersea. We must destroy it. Yes. Yes, we will. Yes, we can. We will engage combat. Two illuminates and two volleys should be plenty for these. These are easier to take on than the the bats, the the Z bats. Then there you go. All right, um, let's dissect it. A crab full of conundrums. You set to work with your knives and acids. It is an undistinguished adolescent spe specimen. A megalops of one of the deep Z crab species, but its eyes, normally vestigial in these troglodytic beasts, are large and rather beautiful. The golden glow is almost gone now, although your sparks although sparks leap now and then to your knife. Interesting. Gain a fragment, and we succeeded in a pages challenge, as you can see. Uh, troglodytic. Troglodytic. Let me tell you, developers, writers, you guys have a very expansive vocabulary. I'm a bit envious, although, I mean, troglodytic, how often am I going to use that word? Eh, more often than you would think. Let's fight. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Yeah, we'll just, same thing. Oh, interesting. So we have repair, emergency repairs, and observe. What is this? You know, these aren't really... A threat. Let's observe. I just, for some reason, I, I just want to observe. What does that do? Let's experiment, shall we? Get those bongos going. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Good bongo impression right there. Oh god. It's going to snatch. I don't think so. Got some observation on it. Okay, so we can't. Okay. That is going to be in another thing. So, observations. I'm guessing that might help with uh, how to defeat the things or something along those lines. Maybe it's a bit of lore. Yeah, we'll dissect it again. We got another fragment and we succeeded. Alright. Awesome. Ooh, what's this? Scattered observations. You learnt something, but not enough. Or you didn't put it together in time. Jot down what other things we can. Gained a fragment. And I know have a, no longer have observations. Okay. That's fascinating. I'm guessing uh, an idea to do that, like you uh, you throw out observations first, and then maybe you uh, go with the evade, oh god, and then you, of course, attack them so they don't take you down. We have begun to dream of a vast eye. It knows you. You cannot evade its gaze. A black and unsleeping, a black unsleeping taste. Again and again, you are alone in the wide black Z. The eye is aware. Oh, we have a the nightmare of the all-seeing eye. Yeah, we have to gain uh, restful nights in our lodgings, yes. Ooh, we can defeat our nightmare and get a secret. Fascinating. Fascinating, fascinating. What is this? Okay, we sighted another uh, Aurora Megalops, and we discovered Bug Bugsby's Marshes. You know, do, do, we, do we go into port? Or do we go into Mutton Island? Let's go into Mutton Island. Um... Uh, that sounds like fun. I like mutton chops. Oh, look at this. Little ships throng the waters here. The crew go wistful. They swap old stories of, the, of sunlit sea. We are near the Cuman Canal to the surface. Interesting. I don't think we can go to the surface. But it's interesting nonetheless. I say interesting far too much. A sailor raises her head. Sniffs sharply. Blood on the wind. Okay, here we are, Mutton Island, fires on the hillside, Quaker's Haven. Once this simple fishing village was part of the London suburbs, before London fell and the waters rushed in. Okay, we'll visit. Yes, before the waters rushed in, smoke spirals from cottage chimneys, a lonely hill rises behind town. Now, we can't drink at the Cock and Magic. The, the, the Cock and Magpie, the Cock and Magic is uh, the title of a rather risque adult film, apparently. I don't know. I, I, I swear I don't know that. Um, 
We can pitch up a wretched bog. Meow. Meow. <laughs> I think that's how it goes. A yellow-eyed, mangy, piebald thing winds around your ankles like a manacle chain. You've never seen a cat's mouth open that wide, presumably. It's hungry. Oh, we can get a... We can get a new mascot. Do we want the comatose ferret? You know, that's a question you ask in life all the time. Do I have... Should I keep my comatose ferret? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure, you know, philosophers have just debated that for years. Oh, God. What's that smell? It jumps down from your arms and disappears in the darkness of, a sh of the ship. An hour later, five brutally executed rats are found on the foredeck. Appoint your new mascot by dragging it from the officer's tab to a slot at the top of the screen. If you do this at sea rather than port, you may affect crew morale. Okay, we had to trade five supplies, but we have a wretched mog. What, what does that do? Continue. Um, what? Let's see. It's in the hold, I would guess. Um, I don't know. I don't see it here. Oh, God. Okay, we dragged it down to officers. It's in the officers tab, obviously. Two iron or one heart. Um... I feel our damage is fine. I'm going to keep the comatose ferret. You can quote me. Okay, um, let's explore the shore. Wander a little way along the shore from the dock. Let's see here. A contest of riddles. Fisher folk, sailors, and a couple of shady... of A shady couple of likely pirates. And is that a drowny down by the water's edge? They sit... Round a fire at the Z's edge, passing around a bottle of something viciously black. They're wagering on riddles. Will you join them? Hmm. Ooh. Very difficult challenge. I'm gonna walk away. Riddles are for children. I don't feel like risking anything. Uh, we can chat to the fishermen. They sail the Z around the island. They mend their nets by the harbor. They see all that happens here, but you'll need coin to open their mouths. We have we have we have echoes. We'll spin an echo. All right. Oh God, did I did I screw up? I didn't read what they had. Oops. Did we gain something? Um. New. No. Eh, whatever. I'll figure it out later. Uh, do we buy it? We can't buy anything. 20 for buying supplies here. That is that is a that is an absolute ripoff. You're lucky that this is basically the uh, apocalypse or I would totally call the better business bureau. Okay, um there's nothing here. Let's ship off. Go further south, I believe. Yeah, further south or actually we could go around here and then back. Something along those lines. Uh we'll, we'll, we'll kill the Aurora Megalops. Sure. I'm not afraid of this thing. In fact, let's just do three observations. That seems risky. It seems risky. Let's just do it. Oh god, I just cleared it. Nope. Okay, just... Oh, I can't observe something that's completely... Idiot. Idiot, you can't observe what you can't see. Or Z. Yeah, that was stupid. Alright. Got that bongo music going. That's how you know shit's getting real. Um, what just happened? I was not paying attention. That was a mistake I made. Alright, let's do it. Let's take him out. Let's not screw around any longer. Oh my god. There you go. Appalling cry. Um. Uh, fragment or supplies? Let's go with supplies. Yeah, pale and salty meat. That glowing fresh... That glowing fresh is unstable. It crisps and withers as the glow fades. So eat while it's fresh. Fresh crab, everyone. I don't think I've had crab in a long time. Alright. So yeah, I guess we'll... We'll just continue along here. Bugsby's Marshes, sure. Hey, home waters. The crew dawdled the rail looking for the lights of London. Yeah. Well, that's north, lads. We're not going there yet. Oh, the watchmaker's hill has been discovered. I wonder if they make watches. Little ships throng the waters. Yes, we're near the Cumaean Canal to the surface. I'm turning the wrong way. Good job. Good job, Ben. 
I love how these crabs just keep chasing you. Eventually they're like, ah, oh, whatever. Not worth it anyway, but we'll have to wait until that point. Okay, we discovered the command canal. And here it is. Any ports? There is a port somewhere. Thoughts of home come at the strangest times. Interesting. Alright, we'll just go around and then we'll go back. This might be risky. That terror is it just, it's ever rising. You know what? I'm just getting nervous. Yeah. Just go back. Yeah, I don't feel like taking on pirates right now. Get the light off so it doesn't follow us. Oh, look! Maybe that helped. Oh, no. No, thank you, sir. No, thank you. I do not want what you're selling. Alright. We fed the crew. Man, we really need to go, like, visit other places, but... It's one of those situations where I'm afraid of the terror getting too high. You know what? We'll go back to, uh, back to see the sisters. Maybe we'll be in time for lunch, then we'll come back. Oh, God. Oh, gods. No, you know what? No. We're going to London, reducing tear, seeing the sisters, and then going... No, I, I, I don't know. We're going to do something. We need to make some more echoes. Flecked with light, the waves are. Onward we will go. Back to London. Oh, the crew must be so happy. The comatose ferret in, in tow. And the plausible surgeon. Wish I could name them. Captain Stubbs. No, you're not Captain, you're... Oh God, First Mate Stubbs. That's what I'll call the plausible surgeon. Breath of relief. Yeah, well, at least our terror is down a bit. Collect messages from the harbor master. You're a real zailer now, after all. Interesting. So we can go get a tattoo somewhere. Yeah, you could go to the, one of these tobacco and prey places by the dock. Actually, before we do... Oh, no. Uh-oh. Okay. We got another one. Okay. Good evening, my lord. And what a marvelous evening it is. If you don't mind me saying so, given it is my impression you are an obliging sort. I imagine you know not mind at all. Oh, uh, it's a great voice. And since you are so very obliging, perhaps you wouldn't mind making a little detour via Mount Palmerston with a few articles of cargo. If you happen to be in the area, the cheery man will of course cover your expenses for this trifling inconvenience. Interesting. We'll do it. If you would be so kind to deliver this little gift to our friends in Mount Palmerston, then they will see we gets to hear but then then they will see we gets to hear about it. And when you come back we'll cover your expenses. Bon voyage as my aunt who was French by birth, if not by inclination, used to like to say. Oh boy. We have an unstamped crate of bottled souls. A crate of human souls. This one has never known the tender touch of the Imperial Customs stamp. Consequentially, it cannot be sold in the open market, and you'd better not be caught with it. Uh-oh. We're smugglers, huh? That's wonderful. Okay, um, I think I might end the episode here. Um, I tried to parlor. We can't do much there. I will... God, look at that face. Poor bottled souls. Well, yeah, I guess the episode, I guess we'll end it there. Uh, if you're enjoying this, please give a like, a subscribe, a comment. Tell me I'm doing a terrible job. Tell me how much crab tastes, because it's been a long time. Tell me all about yourself. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope you'll see me next time.